ADCC is the Olympics of Jiu Jitsu, AKA submission grappling or submission wrestling. And it's been around since like 1998, I think was the first year. And the whole story behind how that was formed, how ADCC, the Olympics of Jiu Jitsu, how some prince from the Middle East, Abu Dhabi, went to college in San Diego. Nobody knew who he was. Dude was like a gazillionaire. Um, royal blood, going to college in San Diego and doing jiu-jitsu at Nelson Montero's school. And uh, that whole story, I mean, there's a documentary coming out on the history of Abu Dhabi. It's coming out. Bobby Razak's produced nothing. That's, that's it's like a 10 part series. He had like unlimited budget to put it on the history. Everybody's in it. Everybody's in it. No, everybody. He got everybody. He flew everyone, got everybody. That's how serious that is. And they have it and they've been sitting on it, trying to sell it to Netflix. It might go to Netflix, might go to Hulu. 10 part series, the history of Abu Dhabi. It's ready to go now. Especially with the last one, how big it was with Gordon. Uh, right now is that time. Thank God, it, cause he's been working on that shit for like the last five years. They got, he's got like insane footage. 10 part series, history of Abu Dhabi. Are you kidding me? How the prince goes back to Abu Dhabi after college and takes Jiu Jitsu back with them. And Jiu Jitsu is huge in Abu Dhabi. It's huge. It's everywhere in Abu Dhabi because of him. He came back and brought it. He had like some powerful government, uh, family uh, connections. Um, he's in it. It's like a royal family. They're, they're, he's running shit. He put Jiu Jitsu everywhere. And he said, you know what? I'm back in Abu Dhabi. I'm done with college. Dude. I could, I could do this fucking Enter the Dragon type shit. Fly everybody from around the world. All the best rappers. Make it a, a wrestling uh, based uh, system. Because wrestling is very important. That's why everyone naturally says, oh, you're gonna train for Abu Dhabi, you better wrestle. That's like the first thing, step one. <laughs> you better be wrestling. Um, he flew in the best wrestlers, the best jiu-jitsu guys. He was all about jiu-jitsu. He loved jiu-jitsu, brought in all the, he brought a bunch of Brazilians out there, set them up, like Nelson Montero. He got real tight with Henzo. Henzo and him are like super tight. Jiu-jitsu uh, is huge in Abu Dhabi. It's so crazy, that story. The first couple weren't that big. People really didn't know what the hell. People were like showing up. It was like Enter the Dragon. People were showing up like, dude, this guy just flew us out. <laughs> Mark Kerr went out there. Everyone's like, people were like, people were rejecting the offer. They go, well, this is too crazy. What is going on? Saying Enter the Dragon. It's the same blood sport. You know what I mean? They're like, what is this? Flying grapplers from all over the So that first one, people were like, what is this? But after the news came back that damn, it was awesome. The Sheik is legit. You know, um, he's a black belt. You know, he's super legit. I mean, he's done so much for Jiu Jitsu. ADCC would not exist if it wasn't for Sheik Takhmun. That guy, it was one dude. It was one dude. He made all that shit happen. And now it's fucking bigger than ever. It was, it got, it, it, it like peaked out like in 2005. 2005 was a big show. It was in LA. That was a big one. 2005 was big. Marcelo crushed. That was a fucking good year for Marcelo. That was him coming back. 2005, after what he did in 2003, when nobody knew who he was, how Marcelo Garcia just ripped through everybody. Damn, nobody knew who he was. He was like an alternate. He, he ended up getting second place in the Brazilian trials, something like that. And then they, they needed a, you know, Back up, he came in as an alternate. Something like, no one knew who the fuck he was. And uh, when I saw his ass, arm drag, Shaolin, and take his back, I'm like, God damn. I was with Joe Rogan, we were watching that, we were watching that with Joe Rogan, going, holy shit, who is this fucking guy? That was Shaolin, damn. 
There's a serious picture of Marcelo Garcia standing up after he arm dragged and jumped on Shaolin's back and they rolled and he put him out. And then he lets him go, he's out. And he stands up and he's walking away. There's a picture of Marcelo kind of just like walking away. And you see Shaolin laying in the back, fuck, so crazy. I'm like, who the fuck is that dude? God damn. 2005 was huge, damn. That was huge. John Jock had a super fight with Dean Lester, shit. Marcelo Garcia ripped the fucking everybody again. He just, he shredded. He shredded everybody. He shredded everybody. Like this fucking dude, 170 pounds. Like that guy was different. Marcelo Garcia was different. He went after you, man. If you survive him, you it was a couple guys with super survival skills, super defensive skills. You could survive it. You could survive it. You could, but your defense better be fucking good, dude, because his offense, dude, is like our Marcelo was the, the guy that came in and fucking finished shit off, dude. Abu Dhabi, you know, uh, is bigger than ever now. Joe Rogan blowing it up, you know, shit. Joe Rogan, jujitsu black belt, blowing that shit up. He blowing Abu Dhabi up. He's done so much for jujitsu. He's done so much, even without this, even without that. He blew that shit. I put Gordon Ryan on the show a couple times. Blow that Mo was on the show. Damn, Joe Rogan blowing shit up. I think he's sponsored. The show too, that's his no, number one show ever. Getting behind fucking Abu Dhabi, look at it, it's, it's anything Joe touches fucking blows the fuck up. That's all it takes, the right person to get involved. Just like the UFC, UFC was at, you know huge in the beginning. Oh my God, it was it took over. 93, 93 was the first one, November 93. Um, nobody saw that one. UFC one, no one saw it because there was no B-roll. People like thought it was like, oh, it's a fake shit. There was something like, there was a lot of fake shit out there, like Fight Zone, Fight Show, and it was all fake and like, oh, this is more fake shit. It looks like WW. No one saw UFC one, but UFC two, 94, March 94, boom, like six months later, people were ready for that one because everybody knew it was real shit. Everybody knew it was real, so everyone watched UFC two. Fucking blew up. Oh shit, UFC 4, fuck. It's like already like Tyson parties. UFC 4 was like a, like a boxing title. It was huge. UFC 5, fuck. When, when Hoist fought the super fight with Ken Shamrock. UFC 5, fuck. UFC 5, was, it was, everything was big. The first five, and then six, seven, big. And then Horion sold the UFC. And then they got pulled from cable. They got canceled. UFC was the first. UFC was the first camp. They got canceled. UFC got that cancel. They pulled them off cable, dog. They got canceled. And then they went, you know, try to survive on the internet. Not that many people had in the internet or satellite. You go watch UFC on satellite. Everybody had one friend. They didn't have a cousin who had a satellite, but you had to fucking go nine miles on your fucking. On your uh, mongoose. <laughs> yeah, so Abu Dhabi was like UFC. UFC was huge, huge, huge. Boom. Got a little resist. And then bam, it's bigger than ever now. UFC's big. ADCC's big. It's, uh, it's a beautiful time. Hello everyone, it's Stuart Cooper here. I just want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Adapt. Adapt make really high quality jujitsu gear with nice, clean and simple looking designs. If you like my videos and you would like to see more, please go to adaptjj.com and use the code COOPER10 for a 10% discount off all merchandise. This will really help to support my channel and keep more videos coming for free here on YouTube.